Today we're hanging cameras to determine wolf abundance. The southwest region, including McCall, is putting about 126 cameras out total. We want them out for three months and we want them out during the summer months when they're sort of in their rendezvous site, you know, when they're raising pups, that's when we want to get that population, obviously after pups are born. Can you walk but lean down? Sorry. Be the wolf. That's good. The purpose of this is to get an actual population estimate of wolves and to continue to get that population estimate on an annual basis. 10.75 meters that way. 10.2, 10.6. In this particular cell, there's been a camera in this cell historically for the occupancy work. So I will put the camera in the exact same tree that the occupancy camera was put in, only this is an abundance camera. It's very costly to fly in the winter and to dart wolves and to find wolves and put collars on. But now we've got this ability to hang cameras in the woods and to actually get that population estimate without following an individual wolf or individual packs to do that. And with the same accuracy. The state is separated into a bunch of grids. Grids are randomly assigned into a low, medium, and high density grid. Now we're outside of Loman and we'll have 16 cameras in this Loman grid. In this particular area, we actually know the packs. We know the rendezvous sites. We know pretty much their area. So this grid is set up. We're gonna get wolves on these cameras and we'll be able to get a population estimate without having to spend all that money on flying and darting. We know a lot about the wolves in this area. A lot of the rest of the state, we don't know as much. We are actually in a high density area, which means that most of these cameras are probably going to pick up wolves. Walk towards me. And then these abundance cameras, we are going to really tighten up that confidence interval to get really good population estimate. If we can just hang cameras every year to get that rather than mark them with radio collars, which is a lot more costly, it just helps us answer those questions that the public is really interested in.